Hey there, creative friends. Carol Pliginich here. And today we're going to take a quick and dirty look at how to edit text in Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is grab our type tool. You can find it over here on the toolbar. You can also just press the letter T for type. So I've got my type tool selected and up here in my options bar or control panel, I can see the current font and text setting. If you don't see this up here, just go to window and make sure that you've got a check next to options to view the options bar. You can also find this information in the properties panel as well, but I like to work with it up here at the top of my screen. So we wanna make sure we're gonna be able to see the text that we place here. And because I've got a black background, I need to have text that's gonna contrast with that. And right now, because I have my default colors of black foreground and white background, Photoshop is letting me know that my current text color is set to black. So one way I could change it is to click up here and I could pick a different color. You'll see that it also changes down here for right now. But another thing that I could do is simply press D for my default color, so I'm back to black. And because I just want white and it's already here, I'm just gonna press the X key. And now I've got white for my text as well. All right, so let's add our first chunk of text. There's two ways of doing this. One method is to click and drag to define a text box. And then when we let go, Photoshop's gonna fill that box with some placeholder text. And I actually have some text on my pasteboard that I wanna paste in here. So this is what we would call paragraph text, right? We created this box by clicking and dragging, and you can see that the text, even if it breaks, it hyphenates and wraps down to the next line. So we can reflow this text however we need to by just dragging around on the box. When we are happy with this and we're ready to set the type, we can't just press enter or return because that's gonna give us a line break. So we have two choices. We can come up here in the control panel and click on this commit button to set the type, or just hold down the command or control key while you click return or enter, and that will set or commit the type instead of giving you a line break. So now that we've done that, we can see that Photoshop has created a new layer for this text. So we can toggle it on and off. We could grab our move tool. We could move it around. If we need to get back in here and let's say we want to make this box narrower, we need to reactivate this text. And we do that by just grabbing the type tool again. So I'm gonna press T for the type tool. And if I click anywhere within this text, it will bring the box frame back up on screen and give me a flashing cursor. So I could get in here and edit my text or I could grab the box and reflow it like that. Okay, so that was created by clicking and dragging to give us this nice box. Another way to add type is to just click with the type tool. So if I still have my type tool active and I come up here and I see this cursor with the, I call it the butterfly cursor because it's got wings sort of versus this cursor. This is the insertion cursor. This is what we did when we clicked in here to reactivate this type box. I'm gonna press escape. This time I wanna make sure that I've got my open wings cursor and then I'm just gonna click, not click and drag, just click. And this creates what we call headline type. So I'm gonna type out this is a headline. The difference is that this is not contained in a box. So if I keep typing, it's just going to run on forever until I manually hit return and make another line break. So this is generally for creating single lines of text like a headline, for example. So here we have that uh, put in place. And then just like before, we need to commit this type. So we basically need to tell Photoshop, hey, I'm done editing the type. And that's what we do by coming up here and either clicking commit or holding command or control while we press enter. And that sets the type and gets our cursor out of there so we can go back to whatever we're doing. Okay, so how do we edit this stuff now? Well. I think one of the easiest ways, for example, is if I wanna make this headline bigger, 
I'm just going to make sure that it's selected in the type layer. So each piece of text gets its own layer. This was the paragraph that we clicked and dragged to make a box. And this is the headline that we simply clicked to create. So if I select this headline and I want to scale it up, one option is to just press Command or Control T to bring up the free transform command. And then I can just click and drag like that to just scale it up. So if I'm happy with that, I'll press Enter or Return. The other option, let's say we want to minimize all of this text. So we want to target that layer in the Layers panel. And maybe we know that we want it to be 18 points. With that layer selected, all we have to do is come up here and change the setting, and it will just change for that whole layer. If we want to get into this paragraph, and let's say we want to just take the word paragraph and we want to make this italic, then we need to use our type tool and again, just click to insert the cursor. You can see that brings the text frame back up and gives us an active cursor. Now we can just highlight this word here and we'll come up and make it italic. Side note, you want to be really careful about where you click when you are reactivating a type box like this. You can see if I click down here, I'm inserting my cursor. But if I miss, if I'm sloppy and I click right here, for example, then I have not actually inserted my cursor. I have created a new type layer. So we can see that over here in the layers panel. And this happens all the time. I call it rogue type layers. And all we have to do to get rid of it is press the delete key to remove the placeholder text and then the escape key to cancel the type layer. Maybe I wanna make this phrase bold. And I can see for some reason I have a double space here that is making me nuts. So I'm gonna take that out. While I'm in here, I'm going to adjust this. There we go. So I want to show you that it is hyphenating some of these words here. And I'm going to set this for now. So, so far we've learned we can click and drag to make a text box, or we can just click to get a line of type. We can edit the text by either highlighting individual words and making changes, or if we have nothing highlighted, any changes that we make will affect the entire type layer. We could also select both type layers by just shift clicking in the layers panel and maybe we want to change the font for both of them. So if they're both selected and we change the font, they will both change. All right, we can also make these changes in the properties panel. So if I select this paragraph layer right here and I open up my properties panel, you can get that from choosing window properties. You'll see that I can also get in here and change the font setting, the alignment, etc. So for example, if I wanna get rid of this hyphenation that's happening, I can try and drag the box around until it doesn't hyphenate. That's one option, but if you just wanna make sure that it's never going to hyphenate, no matter how you arrange the box, then from the properties panel under the paragraph settings, if we click the little three dot menu, to extend it, you'll notice there's an option here for hyphenate, and we can just turn that off. Of course, we might not like how the line breaks, so we may end up reflowing the text anyway. When we're happy with it, just again, we'll either click the commit button or press command or control enter to set the type. You'll also find settings here for adjusting the letting, the kerning, etc., under the character options. So that's two places to edit and control these settings. But there is a third option. If you have your type tool active and you click this little button up here, this will pop open your dedicated character and paragraph panels. So if you don't see these for whatever reason, you can also come up to the window menu and choose character or paragraph. But this guy right here is just a little shortcut button. So. If there's something that you want to adjust and you don't see the options for it in the properties panel, then you might need to go look for it in the character or paragraph panels. So if there's an advanced feature you're looking for, your best bet is to go directly to the character panel where you can access 
your open type options if you are using an open type font. One last thing to mention is that like Illustrator and InDesign, Photoshop does have a glyphs panel. So I'm gonna put my cursor in here and to open that up, it's under the window menu under glyphs. And here we can see because my cursor is active, it has already selected the font and I am viewing the entire font. And if there's any dingbats in here or fun characters, that I might wanna add, this is how I can get to them. So I hope this helps you out next time you're working with text in Photoshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.